如果不是亲眼所见。If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I would never believe that now even pork ribs and beef marrow can be faked. 看了之后，今天我们准备一块鸡胸放到料理机里，给它打成鸡蓉，然后我们再准备一个客人吃剩的牛大骨，再把鸡蓉挤到牛大骨壳中，再用铲子给它抹平，这牛骨髓不就烤妥了吗？你看，大家买肉的时候一定要注意。你看，现在肉都能做假。Everyone must be careful when buying meat. Look at this. Even meat can be faked now. You see this tiny hole? Scrape it with your hand, and the fat begins to shred into small flakes. Who would dare to eat this? The issue of toxic food in China has become increasingly prominent. Not only is it rampant in the domestic market, but what's more worrying is that some Chinese-produced food. Exported overseas still possesses safety risks and might even contain harmful substances. This not only poses health risks to consumers, but also intensifies international concerns about the quality of food made in China. The eggs sold in the market, especially those with yolks that are extra red, are usually from chickens that are fed with some chemical substances. A little more ethical vendors may feed the chickens with red chili powder. But because of high feed cost and the chickens' susceptibility to gastrointestinal problems, some farms may resort to feeding the chickens Sudan red dye to enhance the color of egg yolks. Chinese merchants have been found to mix chili powder with Sudan red dye, which has even made its way to overseas markets. Merchants often claim that the chili powder they sell is free from artificial coloring agents. However, I conducted an on-site test to see if there are any pigments present. Chili powder does not lose its color; it is insoluble in water. Yet, after stirring, the water turned red, indicating that this chili powder somehow lost its color. Why do they dye chili powder? Merchants primarily do this to pass off substandard products as high quality. They mix corn leaves and chili together during the grinding process to mimic chili powder. Chemical dyes like Sudan Red pose significant health risks to humans, causing genetic mutations and containing large amounts of carcinogens. Recently, chili powder exported from China to Taiwan was found to contain the carcinogenic substance Sudan Red, leading to an urgent recall by Chinese authorities. And a temporary export ban on 21 Chinese manufacturers for a period of three months. This batch of chili powder containing the carcinogen Sudan Red made its way into Taiwan's Yuzhong Foods Company and was used to produce over 30,000 kilograms of the popular snack shrimp strips. Yuzhong Company stated that it immediately pulled the suspicious snacks from shelves following an inspection by the Department of Health and would fully cooperate with the Health Department investigation. Consumers can obtain a refund at the point of sale with a receipt. Or the defective product. Taiwan Food and Drug Administration reported that the Yunlin County Health Bureau found Sudan dye in chili powder products sold by the Douliu Factory of Qisheng Company Limited. These products were distributed by PX Mart, which has recalled all affected items at a total of 12,000 cans. Sudan Red, commonly known as Sudan dye, is classified as a prohibited food coloring agent in Taiwan due to its potential carcinogenic risk. The Chemicals Administration of Taiwan's Ministry of Environment has listed it as a toxic chemical substance. Adding it to food violates the Taiwan Food and Safety Sanitation Management Act, with penalties of up to seven years in prison and/or fines up to 80 million New Taiwan dollars, approximately 2.54 million U.S. dollars. According to statistics from Taiwan's Food and Drug Administration, between August 12, 2023, and February 12, 2024. 172 batches of chili powder imported from China were inspected, with 24 batches found to be non-compliant, including five batches containing Sudan 3 and 16 batches containing carmine, resulting in a non-compliance rate of 14%. In a regular press conference, Deputy Director of the Taiwan Food and Drug Administration, Lin Jinfu, stated that for the 21 Chinese manufacturers with previous violations, product importation from them would be suspended for three months. A review and inspection of these 172 batches of goods are expected within one month. In addition to chili powder, FDA Taiwan also announced the detection of malachite green, a substance known to be carcinogenic and can damage the liver, in a batch of approximately 14,000 kilograms of frozen mullet roe, imported from mainland China. This batch of mullet roe has been returned or destroyed and did not enter the market. According to the Central News Agency, Deputy Director Lin Jinfu noted that this was the first time 
Malachite green have been detected in mullet row products at the border. Malachite green is typically used in ornamental fish to prevent parasites and skin diseases and is not permitted for use in food. In response to this importer, the sampling rate will be increased. Director of the Clinical Poison Center at Changgun Memorial Hospital, Tsung Hai Yen, explained that malachite green has antibacterial properties, but both malachite green and its reduced form are carcinogenic. Animal studies have shown that consuming large amounts of this substance can increase the risk of liver cancer and cause thyroid abnormalities. Therefore, Taiwan Food and Drug Administration has ruled that seafood must not contain the substance. This is the first time malachite green is found in mullet roe, so the reason for this must be clarified. In addition to the toxic foods identified by the Taiwanese government, these following three categories of food imported from China also contain harmful substances. 1. Fruits and Vegetables Chinese farmers have been known to soak vegetables in a formaldehyde solution known as formalin to extend their shelf life. A video from China showed farmers soaking eggplants in formalin before transportation. It was revealed that these processed eggplants could last up to three months without spoiling. To preserve freshness, Chinese farmers also soak green onions and green beans in formalin. Besides vegetables, Chinese merchants have also used formaldehyde on seafood. Shrimp is difficult to peel before cooking and spoils quickly like other seafood. However, mainland Chinese media have reported that suppliers in Shandong province also soak a large amount of shrimp in formaldehyde. This treatment makes the shrimp appear whiter, last longer, and easier to peel. Formaldehyde is also used to extend the shelf life of squid while maintaining its bright color and shape. Formaldehyde is a colorless gas with a strong odor and is irritating to the eyes, nose, and skin. Inhalation of formaldehyde in high concentrations can cause severe respiratory irritation, swelling, eye pain, and headaches, as well as bronchial asthma. The International Agency for Research on Cancer has classified formaldehyde as a group 1 carcinogen. Long-term exposure to even low doses can cause chronic respiratory diseases, brain tumors, and even colon cancer. The effects are particularly severe in pregnant women and infants, potentially resulting in fetal growth restrictions, mental impairment, fetal malformations, miscarriages, and other complications. Pesticides are also a significant issue when it comes to Chinese agricultural products, with farmers' common use of insecticides when growing fruits. In addition to pesticide concerns, China has also seen instances of dyed vegetables. Today, let's go to the supermarket and take a look. Basically, all of us city residents are eating dyed green onions. I bought a bunch of green onions from three different supermarkets, and after wiping them with a paper towel, we found that all the green onions had been dyed. It was reported that these dyed vegetables were treated with copper sulfate, also known as blue vitriol, a chemical derived from the crystallization of mine water used in pigments, batteries, insecticides, and wood preservation. Copper ions from blue vitriol replaced the magnesium ions of chlorophyll forming a very stable green compound that prevents the vegetables from turning yellow and enhances their color. Chinese medical experts have pointed out that the blue vitriol, which is an industrial chemical, can infiltrate vegetables during the dyeing process, causing strong irritation to the gastrointestinal tract. Excessive ingestion may lead to copper poisoning, symptoms of which include vomiting, diarrhea, black stools, jaundice, and in severe cases, kidney failure. 2. Canned Foods Canned foods, especially those imported from China, are not the healthiest choice. Whether it's meat or fruit, canned goods should not be consumed. An Australian study on canned foods found that lead levels in cans from China were more than double the standard amount, inevitably contaminating the food inside, whether meat or fruit. Lead poisoning's impact on human health is well documented, including decreased muscle coordination and damage to the kidneys and nervous system. Three. Cooking oil. Due to a lack of safety precautions and food safety laws, Chinese manufacturers have struggled to ensure the hygiene and safety of cooking oils, and the issue of gutter oil keeps on persisting in the country. Look, they're collecting gutter oil. I don't think this is any good. If someone passes by, they pretend to be doing something else, and once the passerby is gone, they continue to collect gutter oil. I'm about to vomit, it's disgusting. Oh. 
This woman is an employee at a restaurant. She was seen scooping gutter oil from leftover food in a trash can, placing it into a basin, and then carrying it into the restaurant. Previously, a major Chinese food company was exposed for processing and filtering waste oil from restaurants, repackaging it, and selling it as new oil. To avoid purchasing such waste oil, it is advisable to steer clear of cooking oils imported from China. Due to the lack of stringent food and drug regulation systems and criminal accountability, the majority of consumers in mainland China are at a constant risk of illness or poisoning. This risk spans everyday activities, whether it's buying cooking oil at a supermarket or getting vaccinations for children. Everyday life is fraught with danger. Four, opium in food. Some restaurants in China, in order to increase customers' fondness for their dishes, have been adding opium to their food. A cafeteria stall at a college in Lanzhou, Gansu Province, signed a contract with a vendor in which they purchased two pounds of poppy seeds for 100 yuan each. The vendor ground the seeds into powder, mixed them with other spices to make chili oil, and added it to the food to enhance students' appetite. After the case was discovered, the vendor was prosecuted for criminal offenses, but there were questions about the school's lack of supervision and what compensation the affected students would receive. Someone commented and said, "Poppy seeds can be bought at a wholesale market. Shouldn't the government have detected that?" Adding poisonous poppy seeds to food is not an isolated case in mainland China. There are even some well-known brands: hot pot, spicy soup, fried chicken, and noodles are considered main targets for the addition of poppy shells. According to mainland media reports, director of the National Institute on Drug Dependence at Peking University, Lu Lin. Stated that meals containing opium could lead to addiction in consumers. Five carcinogenic tofu skin in mainland China. Tofu skin, also known as yuba, is a popular food known for its unique texture, suitable for both cold or braised recipes. However, it has now been found to contain dangerous chemical additives. Previously, Doqing brand tofu skin was revealed to have added sodium hydroxide, commonly known as caustic soda or lye, which makes the tofu skin appear whiter. Fresher and improves its elasticity. Six aluminum and baking powder, baozu or buns, a typical Chinese dish, especially delicious when steaming hot due to its freshness and fluffiness. To maintain the bun's fluffy texture over time, a restaurant owner named Tang in Shaanxi Province has found a special type of baking powder that keeps the buns fluffy for longer. According to reports from China's Food and Drug Administration. This special baking powder contains metallic aluminum, which can accumulate in the human body and cause serious damage to bones and nerves, leading to memory loss and Alzheimer's disease. Since 2014, the use of this baking powder has been banned in mainland China, but Tang continued to use it until getting arrested in April 2016. The severity of toxic food in China ranks among the worst in the world, from the internationally shocking melamine-tainted milk powder, big head baby formula. Hair soy sauce, fake eggs, feces-smelling stinky tofu, adulterated flour, toxic dumplings, fake alcohol, duck meat soaked in sheep urine, synthetic pig blood, to pesticide-laden bean sprouts, fake butter, dyed peas, toxic ginger, and fake beef. Not to mention borax noodles. Borax noodles have been widespread in mainland China, and although their use is officially banned, many processing companies continue to use borax extensively. This is because it enhances the texture, elasticity, smoothness, and visual appeal of flour products. Borax is highly toxic and causes pulmonary edema, congestion of the liver and kidneys, and perivascular edema. It is reported that ingestion of one to three grams of borax can cause poisoning, and 50 grams can be fatal. Amidst the health hazards posed by toxic food to ordinary Chinese citizens, Chinese officials are reported to be enjoying special supplied food. According to Radio Free Asia, a female official named Zhu Yonglang publicly announced that as early as April 2005, the Chinese State Council had established a central government special supply food center, specifically providing high-ranking officials from 94 state departments with high-quality organic food. Zhu Yonglang is the director of the special supply center, who stated that the conditions are very strict, focusing on safety and nutrition. With all products being organic, vegetables, fruits, and livestock are grown in natural environments without the use of fertilizers, pesticides, hormones, pollution, 
chemical additives, preservatives, or genetic engineering. Any product that does not meet these standards cannot be selected as a central government special supply product. The LA Times once exposed the situation of China's elite enjoying specially supplied food. The report described a vegetable plantation under the Beijing Customs in Shunyi, Beijing, with a six-foot fence, meticulously cared for vegetables, multiple security guards at the entrance, and an arm gate sliding door that only allows specific vehicles to enter. The report stated that such a high-quality vegetable plantation would be highly publicized anywhere in the world. However, in China, organic farms like this seem to be very secretive. The cleanest and safest food produced here is exclusively for the elite class. What's more shocking is, while the public is struggling with smog, the air in Zhongnanhai, the central government's compound, is also specially supplied. In November 2011, China's broad group stated that air purifiers have been installed in Zhongnanhai to purify the air for national leaders.